So, Foxy, how has this stop-start season affected you and the team so far? Well, we haven't really got off the ground. At the moment, we've had some good games at the start. We, we sort of tried to cement our position up and sort of title challenging. Right? So, you know, we will be contenders for the for the actual the league. And we were doing all right. We are finding our feet. And then, before you know it, it stops. And it starts again, and then you try to work yourself back up to to actually play, and then before you know it, it stops again. So you sort of you can't actually get a foothold in the league, and you can't really sort of go all guns blazing because you don't know when the next stop's going to be around the corner. Okay, yeah, no, that's really. I was going to say with the when you say all guns blazing, do you mean as a team, kind of that mentality that kind of want to win? You need to spread out over the season now um, instead of obviously. When you look at games, you might go and try and smash them five games here and there and really use your energy over that time instead of kind of looking at the, the bigger picture? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. You can't actually solidify your spot in the team. I mean, I'm not too bad as, as sort of a goalkeeper, as long as I don't have any howlers. You know, my, my position is quite safe, whereas some people, uh, over that course of the lockdown, they could have injured themselves for any other reason. So they can't submit their place because everyone's, just as they're sort of pushing through into the team, lockdown comes and then they can lose their place because when they come back, they're not the same player as they were. Um, so where they've been building up, building up, it stops and they haven't got that you know, physical mentality to keep going because they haven't got the continual games. Yeah, now, Foxy, as a goalkeeper, how would you say, looking maybe even at some of your young defenders when they do get on, obviously, in this in this lockdown, how do you think this is affecting their development and how do you feel they could continue to develop even within these kind of harder conditions? That's a bit of a difficult question um, for me to answer because you've got varying different personalities in the team. Like Shabbat was saying, he's one of those people that he just wants to get stuck in. And he wants to prove himself and he wants to really show what he's all about. Uh, other players will come in, they'll do their part and they, they've got a mentality but it's not the same as other people. So you, you've got a mixed bag there. So some people go to the extra distance, the extra mile to push themselves further uh, and some are, are quite happy to, to be at their, where they are at the moment. They're quite happy with their level when they're playing. And it shows because some of them stay at a high level and some of them sort of dip and fluctuate. Some will get a good game, some will get a bad game, and then they'll go, they'll take it on their shoulders and go, right, now I need to push you that extra extra mile, that extra inch, whatever it is, they'll, that mentality is there. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, with, with that mentality, obviously it's really good, that kind of strong resilience um, kind of side of players. Now, for yourself, what would you say has maintained your positivity and kind of kept that um, kept that mindset on football um, throughout throughout these kind of tougher times? Well, when I started the season, I was handed the captain's armband, which obviously gave me a sort of level of, well, a bit of pressure, but more to the point, it gave me that sort of strong head on my shoulders. You know, well, I've been able to carry the team with me. I've got to be at the forefront. I've got to be the the leader, so I can't just sort of, you know, shrink into my shell. I've got to push myself to be better. So when lockdown came, it was like, what? What can I do? Because, um, for instance, Andy had people doing runs and stuff like this. Now, for me, obviously, that isn't personally um, going to bring the best out of me because I'm not going to be facing, you know, 78 yards unless you know I fancy doing the monk and coming out, you know. <laughs> And header in the wall, yeah. tackling someone, screwing the lead, which I wouldn't do, but I'm not doing that. But, you know, for me it was, you know, working out on my legs, trying to get my you know, vertical jump higher, trying to get my sort of strength, my stamina, and um, just the core, really, because obviously being a goalkeeper, you've got to have a strong core, because coming out playing, you're going to get bustled from left, right, centre. And then, kind of looking, obviously, you look to your own development there as well, and and thinking of times back on the pitch, I'm sure, obviously, doing what, what was it, the monk? Did you say? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Um, and then d- those type of time, times on the uh, on the pitch, what, what would you say your individual highlight would be? I think when we played game group, although we didn't win, um, it was one of my better games. Um, I think I tried to step up to, to the plate, but then I knew they were they were roasting ahead. They, they were undefeated in the league, and I think they still are. And I knew that if we were going to win, we all had to pull together. And although, as I say, we didn't win the game, um, there was one sticking point for me was, you know, he's gone for top corner shot. And I don't know where I've got, you know, I've got elastic arms. And I've come out of the middle of nowhere and just grabbed it mid-flight and just stopped it from going in. And that, to me, was like, it, it, it just showed if you put enough or, uh, like fight behind yourself and, and if you push yourself and you believe you can do it, then obviously you can. Because I don't know how high I jumped, but all I heard from him and beyond me was Shadow's going, how the bloody hell did you get that? And I'm like, I have no idea. I don't even know where I come from. But it is just that, in a nutshell, that for me was the highlight of a quite short season at the moment. Yeah, I was going to say that kind of almost hidden potential at the same time, that spectacular, like you say, just kind of that get your guts, you're going to have to do it and you had the mindset that you were going to do it, um, which is amazing. And what type of, if you're looking at your pro players, maybe even your favourite team, who would you compare yourself to, which maybe goalkeeper or outfield player uh, and why as well? Uh, I suppose, like, for me, it's probably Jack Wilshere. Um, I think going to say he's quite a consistent player someone who's played in the Premier League for a, a decent amount of time now obviously loyal with the club as well um, so definitely an amazing um, player to pick Foxy thank you for the interview <laughs>